filmed over one summer as Britain's politicians debate our decision to go it alone. The endangered species isn't the fish, it's the fishermen. Draw a line down the middle. We'll have that as the English Channel. They can have the other bit as the Channel. The Channel has always connected us to Europe and divided us from it. If we'd have had a fair slice of the cake from day one, we wouldn't have found ourselves leaving the EU. If the French want to catch fish, why do they need our bit of coastline? I'll tell you why they need our bit of coastline, because they've raped theirs already. It does feel very much like fishing is at the absolute bottom of the pecking order. Livelihoods are at stake. Got to think of a son. Got to keep food in his mouth and clothes on his back. Who will win the biggest share of the Channel's wealth when divorce day comes? It's common sense to me that if it's UK waters, it should be fished by UK boats. There has been a fishing fleet in Hastings for over a thousand years. Well, it's such a morning. Uh, terrible, yeah. We've had worse, but I'm not sure when. That's the catch. What do you think you're going to get for all that fish there? Be lucky we get 50 quid. Be lucky we get 30, 40 quid, in fact. You're looking at about 10 or whatever today. Skipper Paul Joy is struggling to keep his crew in work. Previous to coming into Europe, cod made 60% of my catch. Now it doesn't equate to 0.2 of a percent or 0 0.02 of a percent. If we do catch cod and it comes in an abundance, we can't keep it anyway, because we've got no quota. The quota system rules the lives of fishermen all along the channel. That's our fishing fleet. We got a fleet of 12 boats. Used to be at least double that. Most of them very, very experienced skippers, and a lot of them now working on their own. Uh, just struggling to survive, really, and, and it's such a shame because this harbour should be full of fishing boats. There's enough fish for it. Steve has been fishing off Ramsgate for the last 20 years. I love being a fisherman. I've got it in the blood. It's, uh, it's a disease. I think once a fisherman, always a fisherman, provided you can pay the bills. Uh, good afternoon to you. Just leave him, please. We'll see if we're wasting our time or we've got some wages. These are skate. These are what I'm trying to avoid. To preserve fish stocks, the European Union sets quotas for how much each country can catch of different species. There's quota on skate because it's an endangered species, as you can see. But with little skate quota left, it's the last fish Steve wants to land. There's tons of the bloody stuff out there. We just don't seem to be allowed to catch them. The bloody world's gone mad. None in the sea. Honest, they told me. See that? Look at that. Don't come no fresher, do they? This is a bit of the job I absolutely detest. They don't live. I'll keep that one. I've got, I've got enough to land about half a dozen fish. Well, if Steve keeps more than his quota allows, he faces a fine he couldn't afford. That's it. I'll push you by luck if I keep that. But I am. The rest can go. I don't know where you find anybody that can see any sense in this. We've got tons and tons of fish out there, and idiots tell us we can't catch it, or we've got to put it back. But now, Steve is expecting a radical overhaul of the quota system. I'm hoping for change in 2019, in March 2019 with Brexit. Tommy Cooper's in, just like that. As the pressure on Steve's finances grows, he's taken a risky decision. In an attempt to find Dover Soul and avoid catching any more skates, he's taking the boat out at night on his own. Somebody else should be doing this, I should be keeping an eye on them. That's the golden rule. And I'm breaking it. If I get caught in that, I'm over the back. 
I'm brown bread. I'm dead. So, I should be jumping for joy, thinking I got a decent day's money here. And all I'm thinking is, what am I going to do for the rest of the month? Because I've done my quota now. It's actually six boxes of fish, which is about 400 quid in real money. Another one here. So the next day I go out, I catch a few more skate. I have to dump them because I've used my quota. Put your camera there. I'm going to show you something. See that skate? Somebody's caught that about a week ago. I've been forced to put it back. Look at it. That's put back in the name of conservation. <laughs> the mind boggles. I feel that they're trying to starve us out of the industry rather than give us more fish. It's just crazy, this is. Just six miles off the English coast, French trawler, the Arpège, is on a 24-hour fishing trip. La Manche, tout simplement. Pour nous, c'est la Manche, et notre mère à nous, même nous, on va même aller plus loin. It's Captain Alexi spends 70% of his time fishing in British waters. Il y a l'Angleterre, il y a Romsgat. On est juste dans l'est de Romsgat. Voilà, c'est capable. Ça coûte anglais, c'est c'est quand même assez poissonneux. 100 kg j'avais. Ouais. Ça fait un coup de 7 800 euros. Euh on fait ça pendant 12 heures, bon, bah, ça, ça peut aller, quoi. Alexi has been fishing all his life. But unlike fishermen on the English side, he's received subsidies from the French government to help pay for his powerful new trawler. Je trouve que c'est quand même pas mal. The arpège comes with living quarters, so that if fishing is good, the crew can stay out to sea longer. Steve's returned to Ramsgate after an all-day fishing trip. The little 12 hours work I've just done is earned me 140 quid. Is that good? For, not really, but it's it's worth having, isn't it? There's obviously plenty of fish because the EU are catching 60% of it in UK waters. The French want to catch fish. They can catch fish. They've got plenty of coastline. They've got 4,680 kilometres of it. Why do they need our bit of coastline? I'll tell you why they need our bit of coastline, because they've raped theirs already. That's exactly what it is. So they've come and rape ours next while theirs recovers, and we've had enough. Steve's hopes of an exclusively English channel are being raised by the latest announcement from the government. Taking back control, which is what we voted to do, means that we have control of our territorial waters. We can decide how we allocate access to our waters in the interests of our fishing industry, in the interests of our coastal community, and in the interests of our economy overall. Gove is making all the right noises, taking back control of our waters. Fingers crossed they get on with it and we get a, we get a good deal because we certainly need one. I mean, when it was good, he did earn some fucking good money, didn't we? Oh, when it was good, it was great. But when it's bad, it's sad. The promise of change has come too late. I had to leave Paul's boat because there just wasn't enough fish for us. For me, Michael and Paul, stress of sitting about 20 days in a month, not being able to go to sea with no work. Got to think of my son. Uh, Got to keep food in his mouth and clothes on his back. This ain't even going to be here in another 10, 20 years for these kids to enjoy, which is sad. It's sad because we've been brought up down here all of our lives. In France, Alexi and his crew are back in Boulogne after a successful trip. Alexi delivers his fish directly to the Boulogne market. Be 
before heading straight back out. Despite his best efforts, Steve has failed to earn enough this summer to give him a buffer for the winter months. I'm not in this job to get filthy, stinking rich. I just want to know all the bills are paid and try and earn an honest day's money. And it seems the politicians are already changing their mind about what Brexit might bring. It says EU fishing boats can still operate in UK waters after Brexit. Says Gove. That ain't what he was saying a few weeks ago. He was saying, out's out, we're going to take our waters back, we're going to go right out to the middle line. Now he's saying they can come and catch the bloody fish. Typical politician, he's a wanker, not just like the rest of them. Sorry about my language, but that's how I feel. It just seems that the government don't want an insure fleet. I'm sure they couldn't care less if I had a job at sea or if I was on the dole queue. They'd rather I wasn't at sea. I'm still here at the minute. We'll see how long it lasts. Got my best suit on. 